We begin tonight with the U.S. and Iran appearing to back away at the edge of war after the Iranian missile strike on military bases housing the U.S. military in Iraq. Iranian state TV now showing some of the more than 20 missiles launched from Iran into Iraq. Many of them aimed at the Al-Assad Air Base in western Iraq. Satellite images tonight of the damage. And late today, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs saying Iran did intend to kill personnel, that that was his opinion. But there was no loss of life. And tonight, President Trump telling the American people, quote, Iran appears to be standing down. No U.S. military response, but imposing harsh new sanctions. Will it end there? Also tonight, new reports of explosions inside Baghdad's green zone. What we have learned on that headline as well tonight. We begin with ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel. He's in Iraq. Tonight, new images capturing the chaos as Iranian missiles explode on a U.S. military base. Just some of the 15 that slammed into the Al-Assad site that's home to thousands of U.S. troops. Newly released satellite images revealing the scale of damage. This is what the base looked like only last month, and this is what it looks like now. The damage to structures clearly visible. A U.S. official confirming Iran firing nearly two dozen ballistic missiles on at least two U.S. targets, but incredibly, no U.S. or Iraqi casualties. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff believes the goal of the strikes was to kill. They were intended to uh, cause structural damage, uh, destroy vehicles and equipment and, and aircraft, and to kill personnel. In the north today, security forces were covering shrapnel from what they say was an intercepted missile, but not all hit their targets. This one found in a field near the Syrian border. Iran had threatened to avenge the killing of its top general. State TV says the Ayatollah coordinated the attacks from a military control room. But more than an hour before the attack, the Iranians made a warning call to the Iraqis. And by the time those missiles landed, U.S. forces were safe in their bunkers. No American or Iraqi lives were lost because of the precautions taken, the dispersal of forces, and an early warning system that worked very well. Part of that warning system includes satellite technology that can spot missile launches in real time and alert military commanders within seconds. So let's get right to Ian Panel with us live tonight again from Iraq. And Ian, you know there has been a lot of talk about whether Iran intentionally missed targets, whether that was a tactical decision on their part. Yes, I think many feel it's possible, not just in the lack of accuracy, but also the sites that were chosen, because there are many other bases the Iranians could have targeted to inflict mass casualties and maximum damage, but that would have forced a significant U.S. retaliation. However, the Pentagon doesn't see it like that. They're insisting this was an attack designed to kill American troops. David? And Ian, as you know, there's also some breaking news out of Baghdad tonight. You're following explosions or rocket attack near the U.S. Embassy? Yeah, that's right. No injuries reported, but it shows that there are Iraqi militia groups still threatening retaliation. David? Ian Panel leading us off tonight from Iraq. Ian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.